It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brewdog and it's a can of the Cake Cartel. This is a hazelnut stout. It's coming in at 6% ABV in a 330 milliliter can. Now I've got a question for you guys. And the question is, I picked this up in B&M stores. B&M, massive kind of chain of stores all over the UK, selling kind of, almost kind of like bargain basement stuff. If you want to buy some motor oil, they'll sell you some cheap motor oil. May not be the best motor oil in the world, but it'll be cheap. You can buy cheap noodles. You can buy cheap chocolates, pillowcases, garden centre stuff. It's just huge. Massive place of kind of... Almost like anything you can buy in there. And they have a beer aisle. They have a beer aisle. But I found this in B&M. And my question to you guys, I've not seen this beer anywhere. I've not seen it on Brewdog's website. I've not seen it in any other shop other than B&M. And my question to you guys is, is it brewed specifically for B&M? If that's the case, then that would be one of the first beers brewed for B&M. I know Home Bargains, and of course, that's a very similar shop, Home Bargains. They're going to be looking at each other, seeing what each other are doing, kind of, in terms of, in terms of business. Because they're very similar in what they do in business. So, if, if Home Bargains have this range of beers that, they've been, that, that they have on their shelves, ready-made for Home Bargains, then why shouldn't B&M do the same? So, that's my thinking with this. Is this a beer that's been brewed specifically for B&M? And is it a test case for future beers that might be brewed for B&M? Let's find out. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. I think I've got the receipt there. Um, it's 6% ABV. There's the can opening. Let's get the beer out into a glass. See what we get. So it looks quite thin. Looks quite thin thin for a stout you can see the liquid there it looks i mean it's pouring more like a dark mild than well in the glass in the glass it's It's so easy these days, isn't it, to be negative towards Brewdog, and it's very, very, it's very, it's a very, very easy thing to do. Um, it's about putting all the negative stuff to one side and, and going into it with an open mind and, 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 and trying to be as kind of positive as you possibly can, because at the end of the day, they have done some good things in the beer world, I think, Brewdog. Um, there's a lot of people who, who know craft beer and they only know craft beer because of Brewdog. And if that's a good thing, then, then that's a good thing. If that's Brewdog pointing people in the direction of drinking better beer, then, then I hold my hands up and say, well done, Brewdog, for doing that. Um, but it's funny, isn't it? If this was a beer from Thornbridge or, or Magic Rock or... Brew by Numbers, Northern Monk. You wouldn't be talking about that kind of thinnish looking pour, would you? Even though it was a thinnish looking pour, you'd be, you'd be looking at the glass of beer, wouldn't you? Going, yeah, look at this, it's jet black in the glass. And it looks like a stout, rather than kind of like, almost like, not having your mind made up. Not having your mind made up. I would never do that in a beer review. But, but, but. Almost like you, you when you see a certain product from a certain company, it's almost as if you, you kind of like set yourself up to start looking for faults straight away. And I suppose as a reviewer, that's my job. But I still think I could be a little bit more positive towards Brewdog. And I, and I, and I want to be more positive towards Brewdog. Uh, the beer... The beer cost me one pound fifteen. One pound fifteen pence for a six percent stout. 
Now then, as I roll the beer back and forth, you can see that carbonation chasing the head of the glass. Now then, you're looking at this at a, on a different angle again, aren't you? You're looking at this on a, hey, where else can you buy a stout at 6% for £1.15? And then that changes the game again, doesn't it? That, that, that sends it into real bargain basement territory. You couldn't buy, you couldn't buy an Aldi, one of Aldi's craft beers at 6%. You couldn't buy that for £1.15. That's £1.20. That's another five pence. Same as Lidl. Lidl's 330ml cans are £1.20. So immediately here, B&M have undercut these two so-called discount supermarkets by five pence. And trust me, five pence, five pence in brewing per can is an awful lot. It's an awful lot. Aroma on this beer then. It smells okay. It does, it smells okay. Jet black in the glass, no light breathing through whatsoever. It smells like a lot of hazelnut and a lot of cocoa powder. It smells like a hazelnut hot chocolate. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. That's not bad. That is not bad. It's not a bad beer. Okay, let's be let's get the critical stuff out of the way first. Let's get the negative stuff out of the way first. If you're looking for a big, thick, creamy, rich stout, this isn't it. This isn't it. It's not the most kind of rich, full-bodied stout that I've ever drank in my life. But then again, it's one pound fifteen. One pound fifteen. That's cheap. Being positive, being positive on the beer, this would absolutely knock out of the park anything Lidl and Aldi can do for their £1.20 per can craft beer. This completely knocks it out of the park. This is far superior beer and it's cheaper at £1.15 a can compared to £1.20, than anything Aldi and Lidl can produce, or anything Aldi and Lidl have on their shelves. This is far superior beer. Now, this might be B&M being rather clever here, because they've seen Home Bargains, their biggest rival, bring out beers that have, quite frankly, been very hit and miss there's been one or two drinkable beers from the home bargains i think they call it the home home, home craft british craft beer range or something in home bargains one or two of them beers are, are drinkable the rest is is dishwater i was pouring it down the sink couldn't drink it so if you're if you're b&m and you're watching your nearest rival, Home Bargains, trip up and make mistakes with beer, then you can afford to stand back a little bit, can't you? If you're a business owner, you're going to stand back. You're going to watch these people trip up and fall over. Um, and, then, and then you're going to go, do you know what? I'm going to play safe here a little bit. I'm going to bring out a Brewdog beer. Or we're going to ask Brewdog maybe to brew a beer for us, Kate Cartel. And put it put it in our B and M stores, and, and and it's going to be solid. We make we may make no money on this beer whatsoever. B and M probably make next to nothing on this beer. Brewdog probably make next to nothing on this beer. But it's a start, isn't it? 
flavour wise there's not much in the way of roasted malt there really isn't there's not much in the way of roasted malt coming through in this beer um, it's hazelnut it's cocoa powder it's cold hot chocolate in a glass but somehow I like this it doesn't go all the way dessert stout. It doesn't go full on dessert stout, this. There's a little bit of bitterness there. Very rich, quite sweet. But it actually tastes like chocolate cake. They've managed to get it to taste like chocolate cake with hazelnut in it. It's quite bizarre. And I can imagine a lot of people liking this. A little bit of carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's drinking like a mild. It's got that kind of mild, dark, mild mouthfeel. See, that, that is a really interesting beer from Home Bar, uh, from B&M and BrewDog. Yeah, yeah, that, that, I mean, we've broken this, we've broken this right down, haven't we? We've broken it down from like, like being negative towards BrewDog and then kind of like trying not to be negative. We've looked at kind of Little and Aldi's craft beers, which have not been very good. And then we've looked at Home Bargains again. Not been very good. So I'm going to finish with this. If B&M decide to go into craft beer in a big way, and if this is their way forward, by getting well-established breweries to brew beer for them, then why not? Why not now contact Thornbridge and see if Thornbridge can knock out a relatively cheap pale ale for B&M? Why not contact Tiny Rebel or... Yeah, hitting, hitting the craft brewers rather than how Aldi and Lidl have done it and they've hit like companies like Marston's who never really kind of understood the craft beer market and they've tried to brew a craft beer and they've got it all wrong yeah i i can see b&m really making some moves here and really kind of like establishing themselves as the store to go to if you want to drink a drinkable craft beer at a really decent price that cake can't tell for me. I like that. I do. I like the price. £1.15. I like the look of the beer. And quite frankly, I quite like the taste. For the money, that is solid. All day long solid. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.